show you now is uh, how these things that Jenna just told you translate into a very fun game. As soon as we get some game footage on the big screen, we'll be set. One thing I want to talk about is how, how much control you have over your character and the 3D world that you exist in. You have, your character has many, many moves, and at any time during the game, you can, you can transfer to a different view to help you play through the game more efficiently. Mario's got all the moves that he had in previous games and many, many more. Okay, here we go. Okay, as, you, as uh, Jen said earlier, you can rotate around the character. You can do this at any time using the cluster C button. Do it both ways. Um, Mario has, like I said, all the moves he had before and more. This game world is a very interactive world. You can almost do anything you want to do within this world. It's a lot of fun just to run around to play within the game before you even start searching for the stars. You see down here we've got a, got a little lake. You can even dive into the lake and swim. He's got a little power meter at the top. We'll try and give you a few tips so when you get down to the arena you'll be able to play these games. Okay, I'm going to run up inside and go into the world. Now one thing about this, this game is it's very non-linear. Once you collect a couple of stars, you're able to go through different, further levels into the game, even more difficult levels. Um, you don't have to play through level one, level two, level three in sequence. You see when I get in the castle here, I have all these choices to go into all these different star doors. So I'm going to run over to one of these levels here. Okay, now, the storyline of this game is that, uh, of course, Mario's in search of Princess. He comes to the castle to find her, and she is not in the castle. Bowser has taken her, and he's also hidden a hundred stars within the castle walls, which is why he jumped to the picture. Now, one thing I'm going to show you here, we'll jump up and take a look around the world. You can zoom in at any time and survey the landscape where you need to go. I know that we need to go to the top of that mountain back there. So I'm going to back out. You can jump on these blocks, smash them, get a tasty mushroom. Now see, I can, like I said, control that camera anytime that I want. Stop the chain chomp here. Now one thing about this game is that there's so many different styles of levels. The themes in the levels are much different. Later in the game, we have um, iconic house levels. We've got snow levels. Um, a lot of undersea activity. The desert pyramid. Now I'm collecting these points to get life up. You want to try that when you're down playing the game. Now as I'm running up this hill, notice how I can spin the camera angle to see when obstacles are approaching. I don't always miss them, but I can do it. Now I know of a little teleport here that's going to get me to the top of the mountain. There's all kinds of secrets in this game. There's more secrets in this game than I've ever seen before. Now look at the, the blue view volume you have in this game. There's a huge amount of this world you can see. I'm even going to zoom in and look down. You can see down a little bit um, other parts of the world that I hadn't gone to yet. I'm going to go over here and see what I, this guy has to say. Now as you go into the world, like I said, there's 15 worlds, but to get all the stars, you have to go through the world several times. But each time, there's going to be a different task for you to complete. In this particular world, I want to kill this boss character. But other times you'll go through and you'll be racing against someone else or massive changes have been made in the landscape. Just different things to make it exciting. So I can spin around the camera angle here, as you can see, to, to get a better view of what I'm doing. 
And one more time, piece of the history. Now, every time I attack him, he gets smarter. You can see now, it's very hard to get behind him because he knows where I'm at. But I'm going to spin my camera angle around and get him for the last time. Got it. So, yeah, that's my search is over. Got what I need to get. Here's the star. And with that, um, I'll hand it over to Jen. She can tell you to head down. That